Hi, I'm Ashikul Rahman from Accounting Celebrity. Welcome to my channel where I upload accounting tutorials weekly. Today, if you want to know how to calculate depreciation using a straighter method, then this video is only for you. Okay, so let's get started. So many of you have a uh, huge confusion when you calculate depreciation using a straighter method. But trust me, it is quite easy if you understand. Okay, so by the way, what is a uh, straighter method of depreciation? Straighter depreciation is a common method of depreciation where the value of a non current asset is reduced over its expected working life. The straighter method of depreciation assumes a constant rate of depreciation. Okay, with straighter depreciation, a fixed asset's cost is depreciated the same amount for each accounting period. So it is calculated by simply dividing the cost of an asset less the scrap or salvage value by the expected working life of a non-current asset. So what information you need when you calculate the total method of depreciation? You need cost, cost of the asset, okay? You need useful life of an asset, okay? Then you need scrap value. Okay, this is also called salvage value, okay, same thing. So these three things will be given in the question. So from this information, you need to calculate here total method of depreciation. Okay, so today I'll, sh I'll show you an example question. And from that question, we'll extract the depreciation using this total method of depreciation. Okay, so have a look at the question on the screen. On 1st January 2021, Sarah Iqbal purchased equipment costing $8,000, okay. The equipment is expected to have useful life of three years, okay. Its estimated scrap value is $500, okay. So from this information, we need to calculate depreciation, but for how many years? Only for 2021 or 22 or 23 as well. Okay, so have a look at the question once again. So what is our requirement here? Calculate the amount of depreciation for each of the three years ending 31st December 2021, 2022, and 2023. So it is straight line method. So every year the amount of depreciation will be same. Yeah, it is straight line method. So same amount of depreciation will be here for every year. Okay. So in this question already we got cost, which is eight thousand dollars. Yeah then we have useful life it is three years okay then we have here scrap value or salvage value whatever you call it is 500 dollars okay so if you have here one more information like rate of dip, rate of depreciation rate of depreciation for example it is 25 percent okay so this is an additional extra information we will not consider this information because to calculate the depreciation using a total method, we need only these three informations. We do not need the rate of depreciation, okay? Remember, sometimes you have this information in the question, the rate of uh, depreciation, this is extra. So this will be given to you just to confuse, okay? But if you know how to calculate the depreciation, the application of formula to calculate the depreciation, then it will not be problem for you okay so now we need to know the formula to calculate this total method of depreciation so what is the formula we know here depreciation equal to equal to what do you know we know here cost okay cost of the asset minus scrap value okay then divided by what useful life okay so we need to calculate depreciation for three years. So this depreciation for which year? Yeah, for example, we are doing depreciation for 2020, 21, okay? You know, in the question, the uh, accounting period is started on 1st January 2021 and it ends on 31st December 2021. That means the calculation of depreciation will be the last date of the accounting period, which is uh, 31st December 2021 okay so here we are calculating depreciation for, for 21 okay and it is 31st December yeah 
Okay, great. So here we do the formula. Now we will write the value here. So we have here cost which is $8,000. Okay. Then we have a scrap value which is $500. Now we have here uh, a useful life that working life, whatever you call it is three years. So let us write here three. Now if we subtract 500 from 8,000 8000 dollars it is 7500 dollars yeah here we have three years so now if we divide 7500 by three it is 2500 dollars depreciation okay so this is how you need to apply the formula to calculate the depreciation okay so we calculated depreciation 2500 dollars so now we have to calculate for more two years for 2022 2023 okay so you already know that it is a straighten method so every year the amount of depreciation will be same 2500 dollars okay because we calculate here depreciation on the value of cost of the asset okay so here if you write the same formula for 2022 will be same answer okay so here we don't have to write, write anything, the formula again, the stuff again. So depreciation for 2022, like 31st December, December 2022 will be same $2,500. Okay, for 31st December 2023 will be same $2,500. Okay, so this is how you need to calculate depreciation if it is one year two years three years four five years whatever whatever year so once you calculate depreciation for one year same amount of depreciation will be for other years for each year there will be same amount of depreciation okay so this is a simple calculation if you if you know the formula if you know the informations to apply here okay so this is all about your today's lesson i hope you understood you enjoyed this lesson and if you think that this video is helpful for you you can share it with your friends they will be also benefited and please consider subscribing to my channel because there are so many other video video lessons and those will help you to prepare yourself that is all i'll see you soon with new video until then you bye bye and take care